Yo, what up? It's your boy, when JJ Stone, a.k.a. Black Gritty. Monday night, uh, Eagles game just ended, so that wraps up week two. Just going to do a quick recap of this game and talk a little bit about the division. Tonight, Philadelphia is drunk, and I had a couple, I'll tell you, you know. Uh, <laughs> but tonight, so many people in Philadelphia had to shut up. Uh, my boy uh, Ferguson talk about People crying over Justin Jefferson. He came in here, couldn't handle the pressure. But we know what he did for the last three years. We know why we were crying about him. But he came here tonight. Big play, slay, shut him down. Oh, forgot. Uh, my family was good. Hope your family was good. Uh, Philly first. So, <laughs> oh, God. This game shut up so many people in this city. First, uh, Jalen Hurts. Now, I, I said from the beginning, I'm going to give him the year. I just want to see what he could do. I want to see if he improves. You've given him all the weapons. You've given him all the tools. You gave him his best friend. Not only do you get yourself a number one wide receiver, but he got his best friend. And as much as they play it up on Monday Night Football, everybody brings it up, it actually does mean something. Everybody knows you work with somebody that you like and you love. Work just gets so much better. And uh, he was perfect in the first half. Jalen Hurts was perfect. So I don't want to hear anything about his arm. He threw a bomb, a couple bomb dimes, like in the bread basket. He stayed in the pocket. He read the defense. He ran. He slid. I mean, he literally did it all. If if nothing else, he looked like a mix between, like, you know, Patrick Mahomes and and Cam Newton. <laughs> like, you, just uh, Superman and, and, and doing all the spinning twirls and dropping dimes and scrambling, getting over. He's a smart guy who has been on winning teams and has, again, made a big thing about this is the first time he's had an offensive coordinator in two consecutive years. And my goodness, has it shown to be an improvement and an asset to him along with all the weapons. I no longer will question Jalen Hurts until he throws one of these five interception games. I, I just can't stand the, the Herbert talk all the time. And, like, I understand they're prototypical, whatever. Guess what? Tua got a better record than him, but nobody want to talk about Tua. You give Tua them weapons, what did he do? Six TDs, 500 yards, walk back on the Ravens, which should have never let it happen. That's another show. I'll do that, and I'll talk about all the games tomorrow. Sorry. I'm just saying. People writing these quarterbacks off and elevating certain other quarterbacks, I didn't see him throw five picks like Burrow yet, which he's done a couple of times, four picks here, five pick games there. So, there's something to the fact that this guy's a winner. All the intangibles are intangenating. <laughs> My goodness. In the first half, he was perfect. Got it how you dropped that ball, okay? And and on the screen pass with the little tip up, that interception messed up his stats because he was about to be at 90% QB passing. My goodness. Jalen Hurts, leave him alone. Leave him alone. <laughs> oh, gosh. 26 for 31, 333 yards tied. Uh... Michael Vick for that and a touchdown and runs. Like it's just a just a great game. Try to get him one more yard. I saw they tried to. But uh by that point the Vikings was like, look, we we done with y'all. Run the ball out and get it over with. Uh Sanders looked good. He had 80 yards. And uh he looked explosive. He looked decisive. He didn't get off one of his big break runs, but he looked good in the running game. As you know, Smith got involved. That was like the easiest bet of the year. Uh, Brown is <laughs> AJ Brown is amazing. They're, they're sinks. Goddard, other than that one drop that he had, he should have caught that ball. Goddard was good. The line, the the offensive line. I don't know what's going on. Again, I'm gonna still give it the beginning of the year, but the offensive line is up and down. And you know, there's so many penalties called too. I don't even know what to believe. So I'm again, I, I'm semi had a drink. So you watch me now. Gannon, I'm not going to apologize to you for being right, okay? I can't stand Gannon. I can't stand the way he coached. I can't stand philosophy. I can't stand having to hear, well, once I get my horses in, whatever. Because last week you gave us 65%. And what I and everybody says is bring pressure. And I hear people on the radio talk, well, you can't bring blitz all the time. I, say, I don't need you to blitz all the time. But blitz sometimes. Don't let these mediocre average quarterbacks Get 70% passing on you. And today, he did not do that. Today, tonight, he brought pressure in Kirk's face. 
Kirk Cousins did the old school, high school Harry, just drop back and throw it up without looking at anything twice. And Slay uh, dropped the one interception and got the other interception. Slay shut Jefferson down. The defense held good court. They got a little bit more of a pass rush with just the four, but he also brought pressure. Even, even when we had a turnover, they, they blocked the kick and ran it back in that short field, and you thought that that was going to give them momentum. The defense held their ground and gave up no points. This is the defense I've been asking for. This is the defense I've wanted. Again, when we say blitz, we don't mean 90% of the time. We mean draw up blitzes and use them at the opportune times to break up drives. And tonight, that happened. Going forward, if that keeps happening, look out. There's going to be a problem. The Eagles are going to be a problem, okay? Uh, on all levels, all the assets and everything that Howie brought in, this is the dream of how you would assume that they would play together. Now, 24-7 at the half, I mean, they were aggressive, went down there at the end and got got that three points. Like, it, it was just such a perfect half. The second half, I'm sitting there thinking myself, nobody scored? Nobody did anything? Just moving up and down. Now, I don't know if the Eagles took their foot off the gas and were just like, look, we're just – Let's have no mistakes, which I get, you know, you're, and they ran the ball a little bit more around the clock. But my goodness, if it wasn't for some drops, some of these drives would have ended up in some more points. So Jalen Hurts, oh, take a bow. Oh, he, all this week, you know, because I listen to sports radio, I call on sports radio, and uh, even national media. Everything is, the Eagles could be great, depends on Hurts. Well, if this is the Hurts we're going to get going forward, the Eagles are going to be a problem. If this is the defense that I can expect going forward, again, <laughs> Slade took a personal. He shut Jefferson down. The Eagles shut Jefferson down. A Rager shouldn't open his mouth this week. I'm sure he gave the defense all the ammunition they wanted hearing him talk. Uh, so I know that that's not going to happen every week like that, like just shutting down like a, a number one guy. Uh, tonight he looked like he was He looked like he was a, a six-round draft pick. And, oh. Uh, he was so sad, and I love it so much. And, you know, Slay gave the ball to Harden. Harden was in the house. All the stars were in the house. Uh, the crowd was rocking. I love Philadelphia. And, uh, yeah, great. Nick Sirianni also, man, he's doing better in, in, in his speeches. He's doing better in his responses and interviews before and after games. It. It doesn't hurt my heart to listen to him speak anymore, especially after a win. And uh, I guess maybe Howie had some good points in the defensive meeting room this week, right? Because, you know, Howie's in there talking about who's going on the rotation. I don't know. I just like this team that showed up. This team that showed up tonight is going to destroy the Washington Commanders and Carson Wentz. And I expect four to seven interceptions. <laughs> I, I expect I, I expect Carson Wentz to get benched next week because we pick him off so many times. And I expect this offense to annihilate the commanders because I don't know what happened with all their first round picks on defense, but they can't stop a nosebleed of uh, anything. They're, they've got a problem. And that problem is the Philadelphia Eagles because we're coming to town. And uh, real short, ugh, the Cowboys. Ugh. Cooper Rush won. Man, see what I'm saying about the Bengals? See, yeah, he went to the Super Bowl, but they still didn't protect this dude. This, all you got to do is protect Joe Burrow, and you can have like nine Super Bowls, but you won't do it because you're the Bengals and you're cheap and you're disgusting, and you let the Cowboys win. Ugh. The Giants out here just shucking and lucking. You know, Saquon being healthy changes their whole dynamic. You know, we'll see what happens with that. They got a Monday night game, and uh, Washington's one and one. They could be up or down, but I feel like they're going to be the, the bottom of the heap this year because it looks like the Giants have finally got a coach that is worth a salt of something. Uh, yeah, go birds, we won. I'm, I'm happy, and I'm happy to listen to people not complain all week, myself included. This week again, and I'm gonna let you go. I'm not, I'm not apologizing yet, bro. You got to keep this up and show and prove to me that I'm not crazy, and you are. Follow, like, share, subscribe, where you boy with JJ Stone, aka Black Gritty. Go, birds! They went. It was great.